And CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood are at the Johnson Space Center tonight. Gentlemen, good evening. Good evening, Jeff. Bill, it seems there's never a dull moment when it comes to Hubble. Daniel, the Hubble's been a roller coaster from day one, and this time there's no margin for error. This is NASA's last chance to sharpen Hubble's vision and extend its life. And even though astronauts have been training for years, today was anything but routine. Orbiting some 350 miles above the Earth, spacewalkers John Grunsfeld, a three-time Hubble visitor, oh, fantastic. and rookie Drew Foistel emerged from the shuttle airlock, part astronaut, part tourist. Hey, Matt, where are we? The huge river down there. Hey, Drew, we're coming up on the coast of Africa right now. Their mission, to remove Hubble's old interstellar camera and replace it with a much more powerful one. But almost immediately, a major glitch, a stubborn bolt. Firmly balanced on the end of the shuttle's robotic arm, Foistel, who loves to restore old cars, needed an essential tool in space. Elbow grease, along with his socket wrench. How far can we go with this, and what are the implications if I over torque and break the bolt? It would have been a scientific disaster. I mean, this camera is the number one priority from a science perspective for the entire mission. And if they had broken that bolt, they wouldn't have been able to get the old camera out and the new camera in. Now, he's doing all that while wearing one of these bulky, pressurized astronaut gloves. Is that the biggest difficulty for him while he's up there? It's uncomfortable, and it can be, but in this case, I think the real issue was he's anchored to the end of the shuttle's robot arm. As he's moving that big wrench around, it tends to rotate your body the other way. It's not a solid footing. After 45 very tense minutes. Woohoo, it's moving out. Great job, great news. Well, this has been in there for 16 years, Drew. It didn't want to come out. The bulky bolt now removed. Back to our regular scheduled programming. It was on to the delicate task of removing the old camera. 600 pounds on Earth, but not an ounce in the zero gravity of space. Okay, Megan, I'm ready to start coming out of the telescope. The new camera will greatly improve on the already stunning images. That old one may end up in the Smithsonian, since it has been a history maker, helping scientists better understand the age of the universe, now estimated between 13 to 14 billion years. And they're really hoping to push the frontier back to within a few hundred million years of the Big Bang. They want to see how stars first assembled themselves into the galaxies we see around us today. The astronauts also replaced a small computer on Hubble that had previously malfunctioned, completing this first spacewalk in seven sometimes anxious hours. We got the Hubble and uh, gave Hubble a hug, but in uh, traditional Hubble fashion, uh, Hubble threw us a few curves. The interesting thing, this was supposed to be the easiest spacewalking day of them all. Bill, what's next? Four very busy spacewalks are going to install one more new instrument, try to repair two others, install six batteries, six gyroscopes, very tricky work, and those instrument repairs are much more complicated than what we've seen so far. All right, and those new images from Hubble could be available around Labor Day. Jeff? All right, gentlemen, fascinating stuff. Thank you very much tonight.